Hi, I'm Gunnar Binyas. I'm here at the Indiana stand and here we have their entire range of new foils. This last year they've done a major overhaul of all their parts and their construction. It's been quite a lot of changes. So let's talk about their fuselage. The fuselage still features their cartridge system with the anode. I think they're still the only company that actually puts an anode in all the parts, on the aluminum parts. You might notice now the difference is they've made it a lot more beautiful. This thing has got a nice taper towards the tail. It's a lot thinner. Still got that like super fuller connection system, but they've taken off quite a bit of the width out of the fuselage that they had before. Um, I think that this fuselage is about half the weight of the original one. What's really cool now, they have multiple positions for the back wing. Um, this allows you to tune um, to have the, uh, have the foil more stable or more easy to pump, more turny. Um, they also add different shims. I think all the foils come with three different shims at one degree, two degree, and three degree. So the back wing can be not only move forwards and backwards, you can also add different shims for different angles, again, to control how much foot pressure you have in the front and how stable or agile you want the foil to be. There is also a wind foil fuselage. It's slightly longer, moving the front wing farther forward. So for people who want a wind foil with a wind foil board with a tuttle box in the back, that's what you're gonna use. Talking about the tuttle box, they have a tuttle box adapter. It's a modular system. This is the actual normal tuttle head box adapter. There's also a deep tuttle part. It slots into the sleeve, which then again slots onto the mast. It's connected. We've got two M6 screws up here. And this will allow you to put our foils into the tuttle box windsurf boards. All right, let's talk about wings. For this year, they've added a small kite foil wing. It's the 620K. It's got a span of 62 centimeters. It's got an area of 1,232 and a volume of 1,350. It's a carbon sandwich wing. It's super light, super stiff. This wing is designed for light wind kite foiling and for wave riding. They still, you might recognize this from last year. This is the 1150 downwind race. It's a high aspect ratio thin profiled downwind racing foil. It's also amazing for wind foiling. I spent a lot of time last year wind foiling on this, but now with the new construction they have, this wing weighs about half as what it did last year. Now we get to something cool. Now, this monster here is Indiana's new pump wing. I've been spending the last few days pumping around the pool with this thing. It's massive. It's got a span of 1,100 centimeters and an area of 2,300. Nothing special, right? But it's got a volume, 4,267 um, cubic centimeters. That's about a thousand more than the next biggest wing that I've seen on the market so far. This thing is stupidly easy to pump. You get on it, you pump, it just goes and goes and goes. You definitely gotta check out this wing if you get a chance. All right, they still have the 850S. This has been the wing, main wing that Indiana has been selling for the last two years. Again, the new construction has reduced the weight quite substantially on this. This wing is for medium-sized surf, beginners learning the uh, kite foil. You can wing foil in this in medium winds, like around anything over 15 knots with the four meter. Now, why I've got this in my hand, this is the new plate that Indiana have now. They also reduced quite a lot of the weight on this. It's a lot finer, a lot thinner. And what's really cool now is that the, the, it's using counter sunk screws now with the quick release system, which allows the screws to sit nicely tight against there. Another cool thing, I think I'll show that to you on the pump board, is if you have a look here, you can see that the edges of the screw system, they line up perfectly with the US boxes. This way, it's very easy for you to see if your foil is mounted straight on the board. The last board I want to talk about is the new 120. It's primarily designed for kite foiling, but it's also great like pumping and dock starting board. It's nice and small, it's nice and light, very hard construction. 
for kiting, you've got inserts for the front foot straps in the front for the V foot straps that we have nowadays. So only one screw in the middle. Full EVA pad. It's got a very flat bottom. No gimmicks. Just very, very steep bevels, very small bevels along the side, tapering towards the back. Very easy board to ride. Great fun for kite freestyle, kite fall freestyle, and free riding.